Okay, in this screencast we'll take um, a quick look at how to export and then import um, applications. Most of the applications within Ultranet are able to be exported and imported, so we don't need to repeat content that we've already created. So on this uh, page here I've got a publication display that has a list of web links and perhaps I would like those to appear on another space as well. What I can do is go into the configuration menu up here, down to um, export and import, and a dialog box will appear where we can select what it is that we would like to export. So preset, uh, the setup and data, and we definitely want the data to be taken out because that, that's the links that we have created. If we had changed the permissions on this particular application, then we would need to select that box as well, but I haven't in this case, so I'll just click the export button. Exporting can sometimes take a few minutes, but it's saying now that it's going to export this file. And these files are quite small, so they can be emailed to people if you would like to share some of your applications with colleagues. So they're exported as a .lar file, and I'm going to choose to save that file onto my desktop. So I'll just click OK and that's now been saved onto the desktop so I can return to full page there and then scroll to the space where I would like to add that application. So I need to go down to the applications menu on the global navigation bar, click on add applications and select another publication display. So when you export and import you use the same kind of application in both cases. So I've got my publication display. I go back to the cog, again down to export and import, and this time I will move over to the left and select the import tab, which gives me a browse button, so I can browse for the exported application that I'm looking for and here it is there's the LAR file there so I'll just select that click on open and I would again select the same um, options that I had before so again if those permissions had been chosen I would need to tick that box but this is already as I would like it to be so I just need to click on the import button and it will import that file and the links and everything will be recreated on the new space just as it was on the old one. So I've got my tick over here in the left hand corner saying it's been processed successfully so if I return to the full page I should now see the same application. So here it is on the new page with all the links in existence and there it was on the original page down here. So rather than recreating things we can easily use that export and import option to either share with our colleagues our applications or use them again repeatedly in new spaces that we create.